What's up everybody? Welcome to Gamer Nation here on Smosh Games. Today we're going to be talking about mods and how it affects the industry and really what we can see these going in the future with maybe next-gen consoles. Mm -hmm. uh, but also today we are with uh, with a gaming expert all the way from Gamefront. we got James here with us. All the doing, way friend? from right yeah. down the right street. Down the yeah. street. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you for with that convenient walk down Yeah, there. actually I used my skateboard. It's that close. Oh, nice. convenient. Uh, so. Staying green. I Staying like green. that. Fun fact, everyone on YouTube lives on this street. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> YouTube <laughs> Avenue. It's actually a street in Los yeah. Angeles. You now, um, now, now, so Inky, you are you're definitely pro PC gamer, where yes. we see all the the uh, mods. Now, how do you feel that it uh, mods itself is actually going to affect the gaming industry and where it's going to go in the future? Uh, well, I think it makes games more diverse, obviously. So I'm a huge fan of Valve who always makes their engines open source, which means that anyone can go in, take their engine, and kind of mess with it and, and make whatever they want. So some of my favorite games growing up were Half-Life mods, just mods yeah. of Half-Life. And a lot of your favorite games are Half-Life mods, even Portal was one uh, of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Counter-Strike, Counter one of my favorite games, was also a Half-Life mod. So I think modding gives people that maybe don't have the resources normally a chance to make great games without having to spend too yeah, much money. Yeah, and you were actually telling me that one of the reasons that, that Valve is just such a great company is that they'll actually keep it open source for, for everyone to do this, but then also if the game's good enough, yeah. they'll actually pay Well, that's what happened game. with Portal. They uh, Basically, th this guy did a school project, I'm pretty sure it was. He used the, the source engine, and he made Portal, and then they were like, this game's great, can we pay you to make it? And he's like, yeah, of course you can pay me <laughs> yeah. to make it. I don't know, so, I, who would say no to that? Like, yeah. no, do not yeah. give me money to make a better game. Uh -uh. Yeah. So they gave him resources, and, and that's what they did too with... Uh, Dota 2 actually was a mod. And Dota like, 2, yeah. One of Sohiki's favorite games, and it started as, uh, well, it started with Anna Strike, but then Defense of the Ancients was a mod of uh, was Warcraft a, 3. It was a Warcraft 3 map editor. Yeah. So. Well, no, it was technically a mod. Because they, changed, they had they, to change. They changed some of the yeah. things in the code outside of just the map editor. So that was a mod. Mm -hmm. And Valve, uh, being the pro mod company that they are, picked that up even before Blizzard. Technically, I, I mean, if they were smart, Blizzard would have picked that up and said, yeah. "Let's make this its own game." But Valve is the one that picked it up. Yeah, they're they very forward game. thinking. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of people are really the developers are really nervous that if they allow people to start modding, that all of a sudden they're going to lose money in the industry. Yeah. And I think that's a, an incorrect way of looking no. at it. Yeah. Uh, look at Battlefield 3. They didn't want to put out those mod tools because they were afraid, well, if everybody can mod these games, they're going to make their own maps, they're going to make their own things. How are we going to get people to pay for DLC? Right. And I think that what they're missing is it's creating a better community. And when the mods are, are created, it adds replay value. And you can be selling, like, they still sell copies of Half-Life. I bought open source just this year. Yeah. 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 They're going to have the replay value for many years yeah. longer well, and, than just releasing and a also game. at the same time uh, mods are becoming more accessible the audience yeah. is learning how to utilize yeah. them more so you're just the audience is constantly expanding making it a better idea well, and if time. you're a, if you're a game developer and you're worried about people like taking money from you for making a better game then the the answer is <laughs> make your game better yeah. you have way more resources <laughs> yeah. than if anyone you, that's modding yeah, your game if you the professional <laughs> cannot make a game better than just someone who's going to pick up your open source code and just be like all right let's do this with or, it then you're doing something wrong or hire the guy that's making the exactly. mods everyone's playing. Be like, he's does. clearly a good game developer, let's bring him on the team. Yeah, from that's a consumer a standpoint, I don't think there's any reason, like, it, it's and always a pro. from a business pro, standpoint. Well, from a business standpoint, too. Well, there, there is a reason. They there's a say, worry, but well, yeah. yeah. there's a worry. But there's no valid concern on the consumer side of having a game with mod uh, capabilities. It's always a better thing, because if you don't want to play a certain mod, you just don't play it. And you've seen yeah. more and more games also just even having map editors. Like, yeah. even if that they yeah. don't include mod tools, it's like, at least you can make your own maps. Yeah. So, like, now, now, James, um, with like, we're about to jump into this whole next generation of gaming with all the new consoles. <laughs> I'm sorry, can you? This, on the this is a much more dangerous show than I had any idea. I mean, that's towards the eyes. That was, I, he's there's wearing a reason glasses. why I'm wearing glasses. Yeah, These yeah. aren't for my eyesight. This is to protect me from No, them. that's also because you're blind. I just wanted to see uh, if you could be shaken. Uh, well, it worked. Um, do you feel that we'll see mods now move to consoles? Because it's it's such an, like, accepted with, by, by fans? Uh, I don't... I hate to say it like this, but I think consoles are going to become irrelevant. I'm sure there's going to be people that, people that hate me, but if you look at the Steam box, it's going to be coming out. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's coming out. It may take a while, and it may be they may be tight-lipped about it, but it's going to happen. And that's going to make it more convenient. They're basically making PCs more accessible to the family. And this year, they re I, I don't know if it was this year or last year, they have the Steam Workshop that launched on... On Steam, yeah, that was it's making uh, it so simple yeah, for year. you to. You don't even have to understand how mods work. Even I could go and click and subscribe to a, 
a mod for Skyrim and then instantaneously it changes my game. Yeah, which, now, is, which is great. Yeah, yeah, now will they do that for consoles? I don't really see them doing that because consoles... I, I actually think they will. I think the, uh, the PS4 is going to try to incorporate mods. You think so? Sort. I have a feeling. I don't know. I've heard rumors about it and you know a lot of those turn out to be false but that would be the direction to go if you're going to try to do something I think new. Microsoft would be more open to it before <laughs> Sony but it, it's definitely uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. What I really want to know is with you guys what are some of your favorite mods that you played? Start with so angry. So the first one was Action Half Life. And it was pretty much Half Life Deathmatch, but like you'd have like dual double pistols. And it was the first first person shooter I remember where you could dive and you'd get like bonus points for like getting a mid air kill or something, just like diving and doing kills. So it was like if you like dove out a window and killed someone, um, the game usually ended up boiling down to people just diving all over the place and shooting at each other, but it was a whole lot of fun. How about you, Laser Core? I like the mods that turn. Turn games silly. I like the uh, the My Little Ponies mod. For, That's the one I was gonna say. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's so hilarious. Good. Instead of dragons, My Little Giant, My Little Ponies coming through walls and yeah. stuff. That's good. And then they have uh, they have the the Teletubbies mod for Left 4 Dead that Left turns Dead. Uh, the infected into Teletubbies. Hilarious because who doesn't love shooting Teletubbies? Yeah. And, and killing them everywhere. And uh, there's a bunch of really funny ones. So I like the silly ones. What about you? Uh, well, I would say I like the silly ones also. I was a big fan of the Skyrim mods. That's where I started to really take, uh, use the Steam Workshop to my advantage. It was so simple. Mm. Um, I don't know if this was Steam Workshop though. The ma uh, Macho Man Randy Savage be taking place of the dragons. It no, would just be, <laughs> it was weird because it was, it was weird. You could get Macho Man as the dragon and it would look a little weird because it was like skin tone, but it was the Macho Man breathing fire down at you. And yep. did he say, oh, oh yeah. 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 Oh, that's all awesome. awesome, the voice pack. Must uh, so cool. But in all honesty, uh, the game that I think this year that came out that I liked that was modded the most was Black Mesa. And for a couple of reasons, yeah. I thought, I think that Half-Life is one of those games that I, I really enjoyed growing up, and I'm a lot older than probably you guys are, uh, definitely than the viewers. I think that <laughs> people should play that original Half-Life game, and I was oh, yeah. really glad to play it again. I enjoyed it a second time through. They did some minor changes, but I think that they brought a story that needed to be told to, uh, to a new to, generation. To a new generation. Yeah, I agree. For me, uh, this one kind of made it under the radar a little bit, but there is a mod for Fallout 3 that allows you to play in a post-apocalyptic, you're, you're fighting Terminator, pretty much what it is. That's cool. So they got like their beam rifles, and you start with an assault rifle, and you can take one of them down, you can take their beam rifle, and kind of just survive. So it's the Fallout 3 world with, with T-800s like chasing after you, wow. with, with like little flying drones also. That's like cool. it was badass, like that was, that was really cool. That was one of those moments where I'm like, man, I really need to start playing uh, some PC games right now. All right, so that's all of our opinions on our favorite mods, but now let's go to you guys. You guys, I'm talking to you, you're talking to me. We're with some tweets from the fans. Lame intro. <laughs> it sounded like you were like trying to like over talk your way into a girl's pants. Like I'm talking to you, you're talking to me, we're all here talking to you. Take your pants off. <laughs> <laughs> First one is gonna be Martha White, the E is actually a three. And she says, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, the one where you can spawn unicorns. Now I, I love, uh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I, I believe the one thing that it really needs is unicorns. Uh, it needs laser coins. Yeah, laser coins. Unicorns, laser unicorns laser that coins. shoot lasers out of their. Raise it up a little bit. Let's see that mod. Yeah, modders out there, why no love for the laser coins? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, next we have at WWEJ2012 saying only the kind that will enhance your game but won't ruin it for everyone, like Minecraft. Now, uh -huh. I, we, we aren't giant fans of Minecraft, if you, if you haven't gathered I yet. I like Minecraft. I do too. Yeah, oh, here's okay. the thing okay, is, guys. it's just that so many people make videos about it. That's all, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. But, I make one videos thing. about it too, <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> but what, like what I will say about Minecraft <laughs> is that there are a lot of, of uh, <laughs> mods for this. Like when I asked you guys like what your favorite mod is, so many of them were, were Minecraft. So I actually have to give some points there that mm -hmm. it is something that just enhances the game, enhances the universe, but doesn't ruin it for everyone else. Yeah, and there are some things that have been modded into Minecraft that I like, that I actually think is cool. Cause like one of the things when, when I saw Minecraft for the first time, I was like, wait, there's no point to this game. You just build things and that's it. But like people have modded in like PvP mods and mods where there's actually bosses and stuff mods to fight and so where, yeah, yeah the mod the modding community for that has I yeah. think made that game yeah. a lot better for sure. So good job guys. And last tweet up we have Jeremy Grunbum saying I'm going to say Daisy and also the Left 4 Dead 2 mod that makes anything look like it's Minecraft. Oh. 
That's I, I can't totally agree with both of those things. I was split with when I said Black Mesa because I love Daisy and it's more creative. But I just like the product of Black Mesa. Daisy is a great. Yeah, um, like that. That's one of those things. That as soon as it hit, like there was so much attention. Like me being a huge zombie fan, like I was getting blown up all over the place. Like, dude, Daisy, start with your PC, get this game. Let's play. So, what do you yeah, think about the War Z though? I haven't played War Z. I don't mm. see any reason for me to. I, the one thing I didn't like about Daisy, and I'm an idiot in general. I had a real hard time getting it to work. Yeah. And that's yeah. that I mean that's what it's I like about Steam. It's not user friendly, yeah. but once it does, it's like why bother going to War Z when Daisy is so awesome. Yeah. yeah. And it, that one really helped out the developer too cuz I never would have played Arma 2, but never. Daisy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, thank you guys for sending those in. Be sure like we we do this all the time where we'll tweet out from Smosh Games a question, find the question, tweet it back to us and hey, you wind up here on Game Nation. But now it's time for everybody's new favorite segment. Uh, Mazicorn, nice. you want to take us away on this one? Yes, it is time to pit two of our gamers here against each other in a segment we call PvP. <laughs> All right, since we have a special guest here today, he's gonna James here is going to go ahead and little MC this little fight. Take it away, my friend. All right, here's the question of the day. Should consoles survive past this generation? Boom. We have Joven Shire over here. You believe consoles should die? No, no. They, they gotta stay. I'm gonna be pro, gotta pro consoles. Pro consoles. <laughs> pro consoles. Pro consoles. <laughs> and over here with Laser Corn, we believe that consoles should die. Die. <laughs> die. I like, well, I like your intensity. Down. Your intensity yeah. level is very good. I no, can't no. help it. I yeah. drink coffee and do crack cocaine. Okay. Wait a second. <laughs> That's not true. Hope that gets bleeped. Uh, my grandma's watching. So, here's the rules you have 30 seconds for your argument. We'll come over here. You'll have 30 seconds. Each of you will get 15 seconds for a rebuttal. Oh, Are you prepared? Thank you. We're prepared. Can All you? right. I'm going to count you down from three, and after the number one, you'll have 30 seconds. 30 <laughs> seconds after one. Three, two, one. All right, so here's what we got. Yes, the modding community is getting bigger and bigger and it's becoming more accessible, but at the same time, do you know how many people in all of America do not know how to turn on or hook up their own printer? There's still a huge audience that cannot utilize their PC for gaming to its true extent. So modding just will not hit the masses uh, to that capacity. So therefore, consoles will always be necessary and always be available for the masses because they need something they can just plug in, put in a disc, and turn on. That's why you will always see console games. Time! False steam box. All right, continue. <laughs> yeah, so people are too dumb for consoles to go away. Yeah. That's a really, <laughs> really optimistic look on the world. All right. Laser corn, are you ready? Ready. You know the countdown, right? Yeah. Three, two, one, start! Wow, Joven Shire advocating for dumb people. What a surprise. I never would have pictured you as a spokesman. People are too <laughs> dumb to figure out how to turn on their printer. You know what? Get smarter. This will be an activity that actually makes you more intelligent then. And it's not just about modding either. Games look better on the, the PC. They play better, smoother frame rates. Everything is better on the PC. It's not just about the modding community. All the, and plus, we were just uh, complaining last week about console exclusive titles and how horrible they are. With games just for PC, console's dead, exclusive titles Time. aren't a problem anymore. All okay. right. 15 all right. second yeah. rebuttal. Unfortunately, all those arguments were really good, but the dumb people just won't understand. <laughs> they won't go away. <laughs> it's going to go yeah. right over their head as they're working yeah. on their printer. Yeah. All right, you have 15 yeah. seconds left. I'm only going to count down from two this time. I, I hope you're prepared. Two, one. Now, yes, uh, PC games have always looked better, but that's been true for years now. What has consoles like done in rebuttal? They've gotten better with time. Consoles for with, in the same state will only get better. Wow, you had in extra time. Seconds. That was pretty impressive. Yeah. Does he get bonus points for ending early? No. I'm not no. sure. I'm not sure. No. Do that I get says to my judge? My girlfriend. <laughs> uh, all right. So I'm gonna give you two seconds countdown. Also, okay. are you ready, Laser? I'm crew? ready. All right. Two, one, start. Yeah, consoles are getting better, but they still aren't at the level that PCs are. And with a PC, you can customize it to the level you want. You don't want to spend a lot of money, you could spend less money, get a little bit better PC, but still play any games you want on it. And for my final couple seconds, I'm going to shoot you. No. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> winner! Play and time! Winner. Play a winner! Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching Gamer Nation this week. Stay tuned next week for a special guest. Damn it! I'm out of bullets! bullets.